In this episode, we return to the Joshua Tree area to do some exploring. We see the progress made on our recreational cabin. We look at a location where we're going to build a new home on the same property. We'll share our master plan for the entire property and what we plan to do to have the property generate passive income. Come with us and see the progress we've made so far. Well, hello everybody. We are back on the road and we've just driven eight and a half hours. We're back in Landers. We're going to take a look at our Becker cabin and give you an update on that. Come with us. This should be pretty cool to check out the cabin. We've only seen pictures of some of the renovations we've done. It's time to go check it out. We are at the edge of our property and I'm seeing it off in the distance. I'm seeing it. Oh my gosh, it looks great. It looks really good. And here's the driveway. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> got some color let's go check this out to show some of the improvement we've done on the cabin here are a few shots when we first purchased the cabin look at this place it's a beaut this is our new home <laughs> Right here. That's a pack rat? That's a pack rat nest. Yeah. It looks like a fire oh, hazard oh, 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 to oh, me. Oh, oh, yeah. is in it and stuff. As you can see, the cabin's in quite disrepair and has been abandoned yeah. to the yeah. elements for at least for 10 years. So we probably need a new door. I'm sure there's a way to fix it, but this stuff, you know, I've only been here here once, so this, I've kind of seen it for the first time. So this should give you an idea of what the cabin looked like when we first purchased it. And now let's go look at it and see what's been improved. Oh, look at it. It stands out. I love the color. It definitely is like, hello, we are here. It's a little bit different now. Let me take a walk around this thing. The angles of the sun are not giving it its best uh, view, I suppose, but here we go. That's where the sun should be. Oh my gosh, we definitely have some Joshua Tree crazy colors. So let's take a look inside. It's actually nice and warm. It smells new, doesn't it? From all the new, the entire roof is new. So all that was ripped off, all new shingles. This door has been changed from there to there. We didn't go completely glass. Since we've got other plans for the property, we put in just one sliding door and gave us more wall space to do whatever. We got new bolts put in to uh, hold it down to the foundation. That's a new window. The bed will go over in this area. And the kitchen sink goes over here. Do you think, uh, do you think you need in, uh, installation? Yeah, none of that. We'll do wiring first. Figure out what we're going to do for wiring. 
Honey, you're home. Well, the driveway made a heck of a difference getting in, and uh, Jason did a great job opening this up. To give you an idea how much of a change the driveway was, this is what it looked like before we put it in. This led to many problems with not only the guys getting up to do work, but when I came and tried to get up last time, this is what happened. The driveway renovation was definitely worth it, and a great ad. Oh boy, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that cabin there. It looks, uh, it, it jolts you and really takes your attention, but I think that's exactly kind of the Joshua Tree vibe for a lot of the, uh, the homes around here. So I'm on a different part of the property over here. And we're going to walk this with Brian tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's just great to be back here. I am so fired up. Good morning, everybody. We are on the property and we're looking around at potential spots where we're going to place uh, the house. Brian, our engineer architect, is coming in a few minutes to be able to help us lay out this area. We're going to have a master plan that will split the property. If you can look over here, you can see the uh, you can see the other cabin. That actually would be on a separate piece if we split it. But we've got all this behind us. The problem is the Joshua trees. You have to be a certain distance away from the Joshua trees. I think it's 40 feet to do any type of disturbance. Your driveway, your foundation, septic, anything. So you have to find a big enough spot that you're able to place a house, your septic, your water lines, your driveway, without getting within a certain distance of these Joshua trees. That is the challenge. We've got a great view over this way. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a house over there and a house over there. We hate looking at houses. They're pretty far away, I know. The good news is there's government land between here and there. There's government land around us on this side. But basically we're surrounded, uh, pretty well buffered, pretty well buffered where people can't build. Okay, so to give you some idea of our future plans you've heard me speak about, this is a layout. It's actually two layouts of the property. This is an aerial photograph with the overlay of this diagram here. We've got a five acre piece of property the little green cabin we've started to renovate is located right here. So it's on, let's say, the south part of the property. What we're planning to do is we're going to build a small ADU and place it at this portion of the property. All the red dots that you see across here are Joshua trees that we're going to have to navigate around to be able to have access. In the future, we'll also build another single-family residence, most likely in this area, in addition. We'll split the property. The small cabin will be on the south two and a half acres, and then we'll build another single-family residence over here, and the plan would be to Airbnb all four residences. So the first step is our small ADU. It's an accessory dwelling unit is what ADU stands for. And California allows you to build a second home on the same lot as a single family home. In this case, we're going to build the ADU first, then the single family home. We'll use a contemporary style. We really like that with the sloped roof. It'll be a studio type apartment where you've got a kitchenette, you've got a bed, in a living room area, all looking out at Goat Mountain. So this is a side view of what it will look like. We'll have a small patio area on the outside right here. And we're pretty excited about it. So those are the future plans. Next, we have to get the water onto the property, which we've already started, and then It'll be quite a project. We've got to get electricity to the project. And this will be coming up in our next videos.